Hi, this is Rosie, live from our booth at the International Broadcasting Convention in Amsterdam. Every half an hour, I'm going to talk to a new person in the industry. And right now, standing next to me in our studio is Maarten Verwaast, CEO of Larmcraft. Dag Maarten. Dag Rosie. Oh, let's continue in English though. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I said the tone incorrectly. Yeah. How are you today? Great, thank you. It's the last yeah. day of the show. Yeah. Still live and kicking. You were actually um, telling us you didn't have the time, so I'm happy we squeezed it in uh, anyways. Um, so Limecroft is also exhibiting here at IBC. What, yeah, do, can, we ex what can you expect at the, your booth? Um, well, let's say um, Limecroft is probably best known for its offering as a, as a media asset management uh, environment. So we manage media on behalf of our customers, really large volumes accessible from, uh, from all over the place. Mm -hmm. We do that for documentary makers for scripted entertainment and more recently for news and sports. Mm -hmm. And is there any, like your booth, what can we expect? Is there demos? Is there... Yeah, of course. We have uh, two demo pods and mm -hmm. uh, uh, plenty of documentation over there yeah. in the uh, whole tent for those who are still looking yeah. for, uh, for a nice spot. Two hours left. Uh, two hours left, yes. To, to, to go and check it out. Which booth? 10F40. 10F40, okay. So you didn't, you had to come from a long long way uh, it it's an intense more or less walk? the opposite side of the yes of the floor yeah yeah okay but you're not too tired nope. no okay so um i can imagine there is many um providers uh, such as Limecraft. what makes you unique yeah that's a great question there is a um, 20 30 asset management vendors uh, out there um but still they're very much focused on um, static management of video assets um, some of them recently started plugging in AI services for uh, automating uh, logging and transcription and we found out that our clientele our customers mm -hmm. actually they don't mind about all that technology mm -hmm. they just want tools to make their job uh, a more yeah. interesting job so what we do in, in a nutshell is uh, automate the grunt work, automate repetitive tasks mm. so as to give back time for creative story editing. So you're also focusing on creative teams? Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, storyboarding. Um, you know, a documentary often starts with 500 hours of raw material and then it's a gigantic cutting and pasting process. It's a cookie cut cutting factory for, mm -hmm. for video and in the end there is a one hour of a beautiful feature length uh, documentary left. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, that's the, the main message also, of, or, or one of the main messages at IBC is that it's content first and not um, technology first. Well, I would say that's a good starting point, Yeah, yeah. but I would say Let's put the content producer first. Yeah, not yeah. Just for content. the future of um, media production, or I mean the future yeah. of media production. Do you feel like that is the, the way to go for the future of media production to put content yeah. first? It's never going to be uh, completely automated. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever some might uh, claim, I think uh, making good story that's a people's business. Um, AI is not going to replace it. AI will take care of some of the basic steps. But you know, you should never trust AI. Mm -hmm. uh, and there is always that human touch that makes it a more interesting story, mm -hmm. whether it's journalism or entertainment, mm -hmm. um, and that's there to stay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there any other exciting evolutions that you witness nowadays in technology? Um, more smart ways to allow remote production, remote uh, editing as seamless as possible, as if you were in the uh, in the office. It's probably an evolution that kickstarted uh, during this whole COVID uh, thing, mm -hmm. and it's now been perfected by a couple of suppliers. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Excel Edit, um, uh, Blackbird Technologies. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful uh, yeah. what uh, these guys are doing. Yeah, is there? Um do you feel like you get a, do a lot of inspiration walking around here and attending at IBC? Um, I should have done, but yeah. uh, it has been no so time. so busy at our mm -hmm. booth. I haven't. I haven't. Mm -hmm. I understand. I haven't been out. Yeah. Uh, much. It's it's you're exhausted as well at the end of the day, and you know. It's okay. To, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Um, what takeaways do you hope for to to have from IBC? 
at the end of the day, like at, in two hours? Uh, it's still business as usual. Yeah. Uh, media is a very, very strong um, uh, industry for what's in the name. Uh, it's it's uh, beautiful what's been developed year after year. There's still massive evolution going on. Um, mm -hmm. But I think we're not there yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which makes it exciting. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, thank you, Martin, uh, for My hopping pleasure. in our studio and enjoy the last two hours of IBC. Thank you very much.